Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Kaylin QR back in the cut. What's up? What's up? What's goody? I don't have an intro yet, but let me show you a bit. These are shoes for right now, you know, just chilling cool with the pink. You know, I look hot mess, you know, just do something for school, you know, chilling day or whatever. But today we're gonna tell a story time we're gonna paint a pumpkin. I don't have all the colors that I necessarily need. So I do have markers in case I do decide to um, draw on it instead. Cause I have all the colors I need right here. But in paint wise, I do not. Let's see. And yes, some of my paint is not even open. And I do have a board so that I can put my paint on below me. The picture of the pumpkin that I'm doing will be on the next slot. All the ground now. So I'll grab my brushes. I'm sorry if I'm talking too loud. Well, I got roommates. I don't want to be too loud. So, a story time about how I got caught sneaking a boy inside my room, house, per se. So, the story that I was going to tell, I can't really tell without telling the first story, the first time it happened. <laughs> and I was like, it happened more than once. It happened more than once. Okay, no, not like that, but like that. <laughs> I was not a bad job, not too bad, but you know, had to do some things that I wanted to do that I wasn't supposed to do, but I was trying to get in the field. <laughs> so, yeah. So, the first story I'm going to tell, I really didn't care about this dude. This dude was just somebody, I don't know, I was just talking to. Which it happened, I would say, eight eight months, eight months prior to it happening the second time. But y'all gonna be like, damn, on the second time, what I tell y'all. So hold up, let me get into the story. So, first time it happened, we gonna name this person Tigger. So Tigger was a little light skin, you know, had hair or whatever, curly hair or whatever. Tigger, I was rocking with Tigger, but Tigger was just a get back move for my ex. Which is fucking with me because he saw me as an open opportunity. I saw him as an open opportunity. So we were just on and on. On and off, I'm sorry. Messing with each other. I knew he was a hoe. And he knew I wasn't looking for no serious ass shit. I was just trying to get on some get back shit. You feel me? So that's what happened. And we were always just used to talking, flirting, and just, you know, little kid shit around school and stuff. So it hit summertime. Well, sometimes when all this really was happening, so he had asked to come over. I'm like, nah, you can't come over. Like, nah, you know how girls be, no. The boys always want to manipulate you. And they be like, no, fuck that. You know, I'm coming over. Fuck that. You know, your parents not even there. Fuck that. Your mom at work. You already done told me. And that's when we be fucking up. We be selling our business to these niggas. And these niggas don't deserve to not. But yeah. He came over there or whatever. And we chilled. And then, which it was nighttime. Mom, I don't think mom was at work. She was with her boyfriend and they went out that night or whatever. And so they was together. And so I was like, okay, it's so an upper opportunity, but no, you can't come over here. But he came anyways. So he came. You know, he came to see me, he came to my house. But what I didn't know. My mom had cameras set up. So, I guess they was checking the cameras that night. They was already on the radar for me, probably, because, you know, I was getting older anyways. So, they was probably like, oh, yeah, she probably was on, on some sneaking some shit in, some boy in yeah, type shit now, because she getting older, she getting that mindset. And I was already being rebellious a little bit, you know, just being hothead, you know, just being annoying teenager. So... Invited him, or he came over, or whatever. Not invite, I don't think it was an invitation. So came over. 
Had cameras in the crib. Mom came home. But he was gone. He already had left. But but she was calling me like, you know, you got him in the crib. That I had an eye see on the camera. Like, you finna get in trouble. I'm finna come home. So he hurried up. He left or whatever. But she saw on the camera that he was there. I kept lying that he wasn't there. When she got home or whatever, I just kept lying. She was like, but I got a camera, Kayla. How you gonna lie? And stuff. So that's how I got caught the first time. But I really want to tell the second time story. That's just, it just brings it up in the second time story. So that's why I'm bringing it up. The first time story so y'all won't be confused. So, story time of the real was T. When I really got a call, call. So... Let's call this person. The plug. Don't so call him the plug. That's because he was the plug. He was my plug. I was in love with that boy. Y'all was in love with that boy. Like, any boy I ever say, like, this was my first love type relationship. I can't say too much for this day, but I love that person. You feel me? He didn't really love me. He didn't really see that. He really didn't trust me. I don't know, just his feelings, because, you know, he was just the plug, like, you know? And I wanted to mess with the plug. You know how messing with the plug be, y'all. Uh, they be some hoes, and they be thinking what you doing is really what they doing, and nah, that's not the case, baby. You feel me? So, it was just a lot of thoughts and lies in that relationship but i'm still loving this person like anything this person did i love you know it was just that dark skin chocolate black love for me like it was just that it was old school love it was just that for me i just didn't care like i was so mean to my mom about it i was just being rebellious i just didn't care to that point like i didn't give a fuck like this my nigga like you can't tell me shit like this is the nigga that i want to be with this is now i'm gonna end up with this nigga i have my kids with like you know just in love like i just fuck with him like to that level like, he fucked with me i thought he fucked with me to that level but you know you, know, you could think something if somebody not fuck with you it's crazy but <clears throat> let me let this dry a little bit but yeah <clears throat> so i thought dude was fucking with me let me roll out my sleeves i thought he was fucking with me but I mean, he still fuck with me after the situation. And that's how you know somebody really fuck with you. So I guess he did. But we don't fuck with each other. <laughs> but nah, fuck him though. But you know. Anyways, we got him the plug. Let me get back. So the plug. I was at school one day. You know, I just didn't give a fuck about nothing. Like like I said, I, I didn't care about nothing no more but him. Like specifically like him. What he did, what you doing. Because like he didn't used to talk to me or used to want to talk to me. Because you know situations happen and him thinking his thoughts and you know just a lot of stuff and now you finally talking to me so it's like oh yeah i'm all in you feel me like fuck all this other shit like i'm showing you all my attention so uh one day i'm at school i invite the plug over you know the plug was like he's free because he don't really entertain school don't really mess with school like that um you know that ain't really follow me but that don't still follow me to this day but you know if you, if you free, I'm free. That's how it was. If you free, I'm free. And I'm finna come over. I mean, I mean, you can come over. I'm a mama at work. I got a car. Like, let's, let's go. I'm finna come get you. We, if you, we finna run this back. Like, you been playing with me for the longest. Like, I already got you. We official now. So, what's going on? Like, we finna run this back. You finna come to the crib with me. You feel me? Oh, we gonna do the lips red because... I don't have purple. Like I said, I don't have all the colors. So, you know, so I invite him over. He said, cool. So, get ready, you know, come get me or whatever. I'm at the crib. So, I'm like, okay, you at the crib. I'm coming to get you. So, what I didn't know, mom, she got my location. Oh, shit, I'm making a mess, y'all. She got my location. And this is burnt. Okay, this is not the color red. Okay. Next. This is okay. So he came. So I went to go get him or whatever. My mom was looking at my whole location. I mean, not looking at my location the whole time, but what happened? 
no the school notice notifies her when you're absent in the class so they ab they notify her when i was absent in the class she was oh she was like oh you keep doing this like i already know her schemes like what is she on like why is she not in class no more because i normally go to my class go to my car and smoke or something i wouldn't even, i wouldn't be in that class like that's how much i didn't give a fuck so when i got an opportunity to leave and he was like okay i'm ready you know i'm coming in i'm you know i'm not doing shit i was like okay so let me just skip this class and go home so the rest of these classes, oh, I was gonna go back, but it was lunchtime, but I didn't make it home in time. I mean, back to school in time. So I went to go get him, but whole time now she on the radar checking my location, you know, trying to see what I am, trying to log into my phone, you know, on your phone, connect to see on my phone. I'm looking on another location. I'm like, oh shit, but I'm still, I'm still in go, you know. She's not coming home. She at work, you know. Fuck that. So. We, I get him. I go get him. You know, he get in the car. We go to my crib. We ready, you know what I'm saying? We getting ready, you know what I'm saying? I park, we smoke, or whatever. And then, you know what I'm saying? She didn't come home by that time, so I'm like, okay, we Gucci. So, I parked, not, I parked my car in a different spot, like, um, where I didn't live at. Like, I parked it far away from my apartment place, like, my section of the apartment. So, I parked in, like, another apartment. So, we got out. We went in there. You know, we did our little thing. We wasn't in there a good... 10 minutes before my mama came and she had texted me she was like yeah i'm here and so i told her to run to the car he over here trying to grab his shit no bitch run to the car like why you trying to grab stuff run to the car so he ran to the car i guess he made it safely so i ran outside you know she coming in she like what up you got him here where he at she looking for him and stuff i'm like da -da -da. she like kissing me out still. i'm like he not even here ain't nobody here i came home for lunch I came home from lunch. I came home for lunch. Like, leave me alone. I came home for lunch. Like, leave me alone. She over here cussing me out. Like, bitch. She calling me bitches. Like, bitch, no, somebody in my crib. I'm tired of you doing this. Like, this one mom do not curse me out, call me out my name. But that's when you know she's mad. Like, no disrespect. Like, my mom, she's not with any people. But you know she's livid. If she, you know, <laughs> calling me out my name. She ain't never, ever did that but you know she was living she was like go get him and y'all get in my car right now you know what i'm saying and i didn't have no other choice but to listen like no other choice but to sit there and listen like so i went to go get him from my car turn my car off because i said i was gonna take him home i'm take him home like you don't gotta take him home she's like no go get him so i went there i went to go get him he's scared he's shaking <laughs> I'm scared. I'm shaking. Everybody's scared. They shaking. She still cuss me out. We get to the car cussing him out. Don't know him. Calling him a whole bunch of names. Just talking shit straight to his face. Like, who the fuck is you? You fuck with my daughter. Da 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 da. Like, whole bunch of mama shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all sneaking in my house. Y'all being real disrespectful. And at this time, we driving, y'all. We on the road. And so. We on the road, she cussing us out. I'm not even speaking no more. And then, as I'm not speaking no more, she cussing me out some more, some more, and some more. I'm like, oh, no, nah, man, you can't, you're not gonna do that to me. <laughs> And I'm so I'm now I'm talking shit because now I'm getting mad because now you just saying shit you out of ordinary. So let me break it down for y'all all the shit she was saying. So she was like, she was like, you fucking with bum niggas, niggas that sell weed, niggas can't even get a real job, like niggas, you know what I'm saying, living on. Da -da -da -da. She knows that just going in, you don't even know him from Adam and Eve talking about she just had a man here last week. I just caught you with somebody last week. That's what she was saying. And I went in, I started talking my shit back, and y'all she. Like plank, point blank backhand slap me like you know what I'm saying after that I mean, but I was like you was in the wrong like I didn't have nobody here last week I, and I still turned around and told him well I didn't have near nobody here last week you know what I'm saying I was just expressing my feelings to him because like this is the boy I wanted to be with and you gonna sit here and turn around and tell him that like, I had somebody here last week knowing damn well it was not no last week like girl Y'all, I'm glad he still talked to me after that. I was like, you're not gonna talk to me no more. You're trying to ruin stuff. <laughs> you know, just, just you know, you know, little kid ass shit. Like, that's, that's lame. Y'all, that pissed me off so bad. 
But my mom, she's so funny for that. She dropped him off. After she dropped him off, continued talking shit. You know, took my car keys when we got home. Just whole lot of, whole lot of. Y'all, that was not worth it. <laughs> it was not worth it, y'all. I do not recommend. I highly don't recommend. Like, y'all stay in y'all land with y'all parents. Break your trust. It's not, it's not what you want. Stay in y'all lane. I promise life is much easier for you. You'll be happy. <laughs> but uh, she cussed him out. He didn't say he didn't say much. He's not he wasn't disrespectful. And that's what I liked about him. And he, but at the end of the day, he was like, Your mama's crazy. He did stop talking to me for a couple weeks. What I do understand, but he still talked to me after that. And I was so happy, y'all. But then sadly we don't talk no more. But I was so happy. Like I was like, Oh yeah. You the one, you a G for that. You ain't stop talking. My pump is so ugly. <laughs> but no, I was like, you a G. Like, you, you ain't stop talking. But he was like, mom crazy. Like, man, she crazy as hell. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like he did want to stop talking to me. Like, bitch, your mama cussed me out. Like, she don't know shit about me. <laughs> that caught y'all in action. That backhand slap hurt like a bitch. Like, I had to take that shit like a G. Like, bitch, you ain't just slap me. Like, you ain't just slap me. <laughs> Like nobody just slapped me. Like I'm just sitting here like a G. Like that shit. Bow. <laughs> Bow. Like damn, I'm sitting on the passenger side. Like damn, I'm really fucking up. You feel me? Like <laughs> y'all, they had some weave on the on the thing. They had some weave on a pumpkin or whatever. I think I'm finna put a wig on my pumpkin. No cap. Okay, let me finish though. Cuz him smooth out, cuz me out. He was laughing though when I got slapped. That would piss me off, y'all. This nigga live, chuckled or whatever. Like, he probably like, yeah, bitch. Like, you got me into this situation. Like, bitch, that's what the fuck you get, ho. I'm trying to be the motherfucking dumbass. I ain't wig. I'm gonna put a braid wig. This is the closest wig to me right now. <laughs> On the pumpkin. Hopefully, I can put, I can put a pumpkin in. Okay, y'all. Uh, let's explain. This is the mouth. This, the, this the eyes. <laughs> These the eyebrows. Y'all barely can see them. They're a little lighter right there. Man, I wish I had the paint that I really had. Let me, let me try to. I'm, I'm gonna see if the markers are. So this the first side. <laughs> it's so ugly. Don't talk about my pumpkin. This thing wasn't worth it. Cause nah, baby. <clears throat> so, just know I colored the pumpkin, made a mess, told y'all a story. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna keep rolling this October, October. So make sure y'all, you know, tune in for the rest of the videos. We're gonna keep popping it, we get it lit, and. We're going to have, hopefully, you know, a, a few haunted houses, but I got to find some. Um, hopefully, they'll open very, very soon so I can get in for cheap. Because <laughs> they be breaking my pockets. <laughs> but, yeah. Peace.